Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg Any% tutorial. Uh, this video will be covering Pirate Island Mission 5, which is the treasure in the captain's room. This is one of those levels where you have to get from point A to point B, uh, and it's a pretty interesting level. There are some, definitely some interesting strats here. It's a very quick level as well, but it's just, you know, there's, there's a lot to learn here in a very short condensed level. I don't think it'll be a very long tutorial, but there's definitely a lot you need to learn here, so. Let's get right into the explanation. Not the explanation, let's get right into me running through the level so you get an idea of what it looks like. And then if you actually want to stay for the explanation, then I'll come right after. As, along with some alternative strats. I do a lot of interesting strats here. Some which I don't say are really worth going for when you're beginning the run, but like, if you want to learn them, then by all means. So the anchors are very scary. Um, yeah, you can also just bring them down a problem. That lip can steal your dash like it did for me there. That jump is a little bit tight. That should work. Yeah, perfect. And these rolls are pretty easy. That's also a quite I, I need to like look at how I do that maneuver so I can explain it, but it's pretty easy. And yeah, that's the level done in 37 seconds. As you can see, it's very easy. Well, not easy. But you can see there's like quite a lot to do in this level that makes it quick, but it's also like really short. It's a short level that's got a lot going on. So now let's break down the level and show off some alternative strats, which usually come at the end of the video as normal with this format, so let's get right into it. So yeah, let's, let's start with the first part of the level, which is, you know, the first the first jumps of the level are the easiest part, for sure. So just turn the camera, face the egg, hold forward, uh, grab it, and then just dash down here. You're gonna do a dash jump over this. Sort of jump sort of close to the fences, but not too close that you hit the fences. Uh, this is a pretty easy jump. Then roll into the rightmost hoop. Turn the camera, roll forward, go into this one. Uh, so now, Coming up is the anchors, which are very difficult. So let's do this in our own separate part. Give me two secs. All right, so unfortunately, this next part of the video will be a bit more do it yourself -y than like other parts of tutorials I've done. Is this because this section here is based off RNG and the pattern you get is basically they can vary quite a lot, so this is quite an odd pattern where like you can see the anchors are like swinging in an alternative fashion. Sometimes you get two anchors swing together, sometimes you have them sort of a little bit spaced apart so they sort of swing one after another, but it's... And this one this is a weird pattern. I guess, really, I'll, I'll explain the movement that I do, but... And I'll explain how like I vary from pattern to pattern, but... In order for you to learn it, you're going to have to like, look at the patterns yourself and learn how to time them yourself. Which is unfortunate because I wish there was a consistent way, but as these are RNG, it's a bit... It's a bit monkey-ass, so... I will just restart and I'll explain... I'll explain how I do the movement as I go through it. So, give me two seconds, boys. Alright, so I actually don't know what the first pattern I'm going to get is, but I'll explain how I'm going to move through it nonetheless. So... I'll do the easy way first, so you guys don't have to worry about that roll jump. So, we're going to dash jump over this, and at the end of this point, we're going to recover, and then we're going to roll. And then, depending on the pattern, you might want to like, curve to the left to try and dodge an anchor, which I did there. Uh, so, so then I did like a roll jump across, and I'm about to end my next roll, so I'm going, going to do another roll jump. Uh, the timing of that roll jump is going to depend on how this anchor behaves. I can't tell where it is right now from this pause screen. So yeah, that was a pretty easy pattern, so I just jumped over it. And so I just rolled and jumped. But sometimes you might time a wrong jump and get hit by the anchor. You kind of just want to wait it out. It's a bit awkward. So let me show off some other examples to give you some ideas how to do this. Okay, so... Uh, there is one thing I did forget to mention in like all my tutorials, and it's really applied here as like the only level really uh, where it's actually important. Um, when you get out of blue hoops, you can actually like 
I feel like a lot of people think you have to press A then R to do the recovery then roll. But actually all you need to do is just press R here. So in order to do this fast you just want to go through this hoop, turn the camera then press R. You don't need to press A at all. Uh, so when we get out of this next hoop what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll then immediately jump to get over the fire. If you press A too late you're going to get hit by the fire. Uh, so yeah, so here in this example I wait at the top of my jump because I, I know this pattern quite well. If you wait at the top of your jump, roll, then roll jump you get across. And then here, just roll when you feel like it's safe to. As you can see I got out of my roll and this is absolutely perfectly fine. If you feel like anywhere in that recovery frame is not safe to cross our third anchor, then just wait. You can just jump here and then when you see an opening just jump and roll. That's what I like to do. Uh, also just don't worry about this too much. We'll do this Actually, we'll go through this in order. So let me just try and cross these anchors safely. Okay, cool. Go across. Like, um, don't worry about going too fast here if, like, you know, you don't like doing these anchor movements. Because it is hard. Um, it's definitely one of the hardest movement portions of the run. So what I would suggest doing is, like, because it's only like a three second difference, really, if you take it safe or if you take it fast. And, you know, three seconds ain't that much time, let's be real. In an hour long speed run at least. So, you can just dash jump for example, you can then just time these, do dash jumps, do normal jumps. Just do what you want, as long as you get through safely. The checkpoint is on this portion here. So, you know, if you get knocked off anywhere and you're going back to the start, it's up to you how you do this. It's, honestly, it's probably like the, the worst part of this level. Just I keep saying just, but you, you get the idea, it's a hard level. Okay, so at the end of the anchors, you're going to roll down this slope and try and recover at the bottom because there's a chance you can get an instant recovery, which will save you half a second. Yeah, again, not a big worry if you don't get it. It's just a small half second time save, which is handy if you do get it. So let's see if we do get it. Nope, because IGs are difficult. Um, so ahead of us, there's a penguin. Uh, we're going to run through that penguin because by the time that the um, penguin attacks us, we should be like out of range, so that's fine. Uh, so it should look like this. And then we're going to sort of dash this sign, and as we approach the sign, we're going to start turning the camera to the left by, you know, holding C stick left, sorry. So that turns the camera to the right. And then we're going to do a nice big dash jump onto that platform ahead of us. Like so. This dash jump's a bit scary though, so um, take it safe if you really want to. There's lots of different ways you can do this one. Let's go through these penguins so they don't bother me anymore. So yeah, you, you can you can just line it up and then dash jump. Uh, make sure like the door is out of reach, you know, so you don't bonk the door. And then you also want to time the dash jump so you just go over the fence as well and not bonk into that. You can also um, also yeah, be careful like pluck bounces there because it is a sloped surface. You can just egg bounce, that's another option you have. Uh, also if you die, it's fine because you respawn roughly around here anyway. So let's just get to the next section. So once you're on here, you want to be egg bouncing so you don't lose your egg. And then once you're at the peak of your egg bounce, you just want to roll over this wall and recover like next to the egg. Like so. Um, from here, you go do another air roll out of your recovery, this direction towards the hoop, and you get a roll jump on this line. So, let's say I've re recovered here. Should look like that. Nice and easy. Now we have the next part, which is what you do out of this hoop. Let's go through that in a separate recording so I don't mess up. So yeah, here's the safe strap. Just jump up on here. You can then egg bounce off this corner, jump, go around the gate, and then dash it into here. Okay, so this first hoop movement is pretty easy. Once we get into the hoop, immediately we're going to hold A to jump out of it, and we're going to hold upright as we do so. And then we're going to turn the camera, not cap turn the camera, we're going to turn the analog stick so we're facing forward, so we can just roll straight into the cannon, and it should look like this. Like so. If you need to nudge the camera at all, then do so. Um, that's up to you though. Okay, so you should have just got into the cannon. Um, yeah, so let's talk about that. Uh, well, let's just talk about what you do first. We're going to land on this um, platform that's just below our reticle. We're then going to get over this platform and get over this platform that's roughly over here uh, by the time the fire even hits us. And there's a very easy way to do this. So, 
we're going to immediately when we get into camera, we're going to point it straight up and have our reticle so the entire reticle should be in this nice blue sky between these two rocks. Like so, somewhere like this, essentially. Somewhere like this should also work, but somewhere like this may not work, and somewhere like this may not work. So make sure it's somewhere like this, and then just shoot out of it. Uh, so it should look like this. Cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to roll into that first blue hoop. Pretty simple. And then we're going to hold right and roll into the next one by pressing R. This cutscene is now going to play. That's fine. And then once we're out of this, we're going to immediately turn around, dash jump onto the... Or what I like to do is I like to dash jump... What? Yeah, I know, I remember what I do now is I dash, I do a quick 180, and then I dash jump onto the switch, egg bounce, then roll sort of to the right, uprightish area to get off the platform so it should look like this. Nice and easy. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter how you do that, as long as you're on that platform with an egg, it's a-okay, -okay, really. Um, so once you've done that, just dash, 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 cancel, egg shoot, and grab the emblem. Cool, now let's talk about some alternative strats for this last section, essentially. Okay, so do not watch the entirety of this cutscene. And the reason why that is, is because a another cutscene doesn't play instead, and it causes some complications with the level, like so. So yeah, with the cutscene fully played, and if I shoot out the cannon, this will happen. Yeah, the, the, the cutscene that shoots all that fire just won't, won't happen. And essentially, you know, you can't redo really this fire. You can't redo really this fire strap. Um, so let's talk about what happens actually whilst we're here. If you are, to by chance, say, miss this blue hoop and come down to the beach, uh, we don't want to bother with Clipper. He's he's pretty pointless. He's too slow. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to discuss the egg because it is a little bit too big for my liking. I do need one to have a small egg, so let's just take this egg. Uh, your backup strat is to do a sign a sign jump. Uh, so you want to egg bounce sort of on the edge of this platform. Uh, try and be as much on the edge as you can, and then you just want to like egg bounce over the middle of this sign essentially, or like you know the middle of this edge of the sign, and then just hold into it and hold away as you bounce up. Everyone knows how to sign jump, and that that can just get you up there pretty easy. Um, uh, let's just talk about the final point that I just want to make, uh, which is pretty straightforward. Okay, so it's a very common occurrence for a lot of runners to um, essentially like miss the second blue hoop um, when rolling on the platform. So what I would suggest you do is do what I do normally, so just like run to that hoop, hold right, and then just keep holding right because the camera will swing and essentially it will just help ensure that you get in that blue hoop a bit more consistently. It's not a big deal. But it's just something you can do. Um, yeah, so I think that's everything. But yeah, as you can see, like you can just do an egg bounce if you have to, and then just wait for the cutscene to end, and you can just egg bounce over. You can egg bounce roll, but the cut the camera is swing. I mean, I'm glad I didn't actually go there. So yeah, that's that's the video. I think um, this level this level is really annoying to make a tutorial for because anchors are annoying, islands are annoying. Um, strats are annoying, so <laughs> yeah, thank god that's over. Uh, I've been Kyron, thank you so much for watching. Um, check out the Discord uh, where we talk about the speedrun, um, which is in the description. It's also on speedrun.com forward slash bh if you, if for some reason that link doesn't work, that I could buy. Also, please follow me on Twitch because I am trying to grow my channel out to, uh, um, to maybe become partner, but I've got quite a while to go. <laughs> Lol. Uh, yes, yeah, so. Yeah, that's everything. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, see you in the next tutorial, which, as a time of recording, will probably be on Blizzard 1. So, see you guys.